Good morning guys. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's already 8 o'clock here. And I just woke up again. I woke up around 4 in the morning because I was so hungry. I was very hungry. And I woke up this morning 4 o'clock. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to eat. So, sorry for the light, because I'm in the bathroom. So today, guys, I'm going to go. I have a, an appointment from for my doctor around 11 o'clock later. And Pete is with three kids because they have a dental appointment. So I'm going to go alone to the doctor again and then you know what I'm scared about really guys this is what I'm gonna talk to my blog because what I'm scared whenever about this baby number four I'm not scared with the baby but I'm scared what's gonna happen after because you know I'm 36 years old as you all know <laughs> if you don't know now you know so I'm 36 years old then my bones are not that strong as before you know the feeling when you're like you just finished delivering the baby your whole body is aching and then um, I feel like all my all my wait I'm just gonna fix my I don't know my cortina right there I'm gonna open it because I didn't open it yet mm. hold on So yeah, naka-open na siya. Ang kalat ng kulat. Ano namin no? Kasi dyan ako nag-nap ulit. That's where I, I nap this morning. Because mali si lapit na mga around. 6 o'clock. Very early. Where? 7 o'clock of the for the dental. Tapos pupunta pa sila sa Toyota. So mga mamaya pa yun sila. Later pa yung mga after lunch pa yun mag- after lunch pa yun sila mga kawe. Ang ganda ng aking tripod. So yeah, maghuhugas muna ako. I'm gonna wash the dishes while I talk to you guys. Yes, as I was talking, when I was scared kasi I'm 36 and then I know my bones are very fragile. Ano ba yan? Fragile or fragile? Whatever you choose. So I choose fragile or fragile. Whatever. Whatever makes sense to the sentence, I'll use that. So fragile my side doing yung bones. The density of my bones at my age now is not big it's not like before. The density when I was younger. So second my mother is not here. Yeah, that's right. So my mother, all of my kids were born, all of my three kids were born in the Philippines. So I have my, my, my mother's assistance there. I have my family's assistance there. So all of my three kids, I wasn't the one who gave the first shower to them. As in the first, I guess the first two weeks, my eldest, it was my mom the whole the whole one year old. <laughs> so, the first two weeks, it wasn't me giving a shower for the baby. So, um, I don't know how I'm gonna shower the baby. This is gonna be my first time. That's what I'm scared because the baby's 
you know, you know, the baby, oh my gosh, they're very fragile. So I don't know, I'm gonna give them a shower without my mom or without... He don't know anything about the baby. He don't even know how to carry a baby. Even a one-year-old baby, he don't know how to carry. So I really don't know how I'm gonna do that. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna make sure that I have the necessity that would, will make it easier. Probably I will give the baby a bath here in the kitchen sink. Using, meron kasi, they have this small ano eh, bathtub for the baby. So probably I'll buy that one. I never used that one, but probably this time I'm gonna use it. Because it was my mom using only the basin and you know, they know that, so I have my, my family's assistance in the Philippines when I gave birth. Every time I give birth, so it makes it easier. But now I'm alone. It's on my own. So I'm gonna try my best. Probably magi sponge but lang siya for the whole two weeks until her until the bone of the baby develop. <laughs> I don't know yet. Third I don't know if they give massage here after you give birth. Because you know, in the Philippines, after you give birth, my mom always encouraged me to have a massage after maybe, after maybe um my wound healed. They Probably after two weeks, they give you a massage, a full massage on your body. They give you a full massage, like they said, so that your bone will go back to what it was before you got pregnant because now that you're pregnant every broke bone every pelvis every uterus everything stretches so when you give birth you have to have that massage to put it back all together and to avoid um what's the english of b-nut i don't know the english of b-nut postpartum hemorrhage whatever not just hemorrhage it's, it's when your body gave up because basta binat guys just just google it what is binat in english b i n a t binat i don't have my phone is in charge so yeah i want to know if they have it here or else i'll be waiting for so long to get that massage because I know I'm going to complain about my hips. Because that's what I'm complaining all the time whenever I give birth. I feel like my pel pelvic bone is like stretched like that. That needs to be put back together. They give you massage like they stretch your legs. They stretch your hips. They like, you know, that's, that's what the massage that I experienced in the Philippines. That they really put back the bone, pelvic bone. I don't know here. What do you think, guys? Do they do massage here? Yeah, they do massage. You have to go to the massage parlor. Oh, but I don't think that it's the same as what I experienced in the films. Next! What else that I'm scared of? Of course, one of the possibility. I don't know what to expect in the hospital here. I really don't know. Next, what else I'm scared of? I'm not really scared of, it's just a concern for me. It's a concern after birth. It's the postpartum, that what, that's what I'm scared, that's what I'm, what I'm concerned of, the postpartum. It's very important because I experienced twice already na nabinat ako, that I experienced binat because the first one, uh, first, first delivery, I experienced B-nut. It's usually by the food I eat. There's certain food that you cannot eat after birth. Will really give you, I uh, know, will really give you the bleeding, and it's not good. So, I don't know if you know this because the Philippines they do sabong. So in the Philippines they do sabo and then when you win when you're when you win you take home the chicken that I was killed in that sabo 
So now, cockfight in English. So now, when you bring home that cock and they cook it, and then when you eat that, you're not allowed if you just gave birth. And then I ate that and I forgot I just gave birth. So I ate that. Oh no, I experienced, ooh. I experienced really bad. And I said, and I confirmed, it's true. That myth is a fact now. The second one that I experienced was, my third child was, after I <laughs> deliver a baby, I was really craving for coconut shake. My sister didn't tell me after, until after I drink. Like after I drink half of the cup. It's like, oh no God, you cannot, you cannot drink that because it's bad. No more. It's too late. I'm already experiencing and then I bleed. I bled. So instead of me done already with my bleeding, I'm back to bleeding. So that's that's already that's a fact now too. It's not anymore a myth. So I cannot so there's a certain food that I don't know if I can eat it or not. Because you know Google don't know anything like about the myth in the Philippines. A lot of myth there that's been fact because of my experience. So I'm gonna know. Who will go